will be using both of us Vu on the board and Surfer App in the wetsuit. And the winner is... As the Peta show is starting now. Good morning. Today is the day of 40 plus knots. And today we will get to know which kite jumps higher. 8 meter reach 2022 versus 8 meter orbit 2022. Today it's gonna help me Giovanni with testing the kites. Giovanni, we are live. Thousand people already watching. This is Giovanni. Yo. Look how many knots it is. It's about 25. Fuck. It goes to 35. Yeah, I've dropped a little. I hope we're gonna get more. But anyway, we're gonna test the 8 meters just. Whatever it is, if it's 25, if it's 30. Yeah, if you didn't know, I'm holding the VU record of Naxos. It's 22 meters. Yeah, and I'm here to try to beat him. Yeah. This is why I'm here. And this is why, what I'm scared of. How many years are you kiting? Uh, two years. So yeah, he's kiting... kiting two years, I'm kiting 15 <laughs> years. That's why I'm a bit... Uh... In a disadvantage. I think I am in disadvantage. It's on me the pressure. Oh, what is your weight? Uh, 75. 75? 76, 76. Yeah, 76. Oh, you're lighter than me. I think I'm 80. Yeah, anyway, it's challenging conditions as always in Axos. Gusty wind, choppy water, so it will be difficult to take off and it's difficult to go super high. So the plan it is we're gonna kite for one hour. We'll be using both of us Vu on the board and surfer app in the wetsuit. Every 15 minutes we will go out, change the kites and uh, we will restart the VU and the surfer app. The goal it is just to do basic jumps, not having uh, back rolls, no kite loops, just after one hour once we finish with testing, if we still have energy, then we're gonna try to feel uh, which, uh, which kite feels better in looping. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? Which kite will jump higher, orbit or reach? I mean, according to the kites, I think orbits. Yeah. So definitely orbit should be the winner, it's pressure on the orbit, <laughs> but uh, reach feels to me really good, the 8 meter I didn't test it yet, but the 9 meter, the 12 meter, 15 meter feels light, much lighter on the bar than the previous year, and I think it can surprise, but this is why we are here today. Basic jumps, who's gonna go higher? What we gonna do now? As the Peta show is starting now, mm -hmm. kite loop and fucking kite loop, triple loop. Yeah! Loop. Session. It was insane. And the winner is. Ta -da 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 -da. Peter. <laughs> Peter, not Peter. Yeah, but we didn't compete to each other. The kite's been competing uh, to each other. Orbit yeah. is the winner. Pa -pa! This is what, what everybody been expecting. Yeah. Actually, I thought that uh, maybe Rich is gonna go higher, but we saw that was not really possible to go higher. Anyway, the highest jump I did by the VU with the orbit is 18.8 meter. Your by the VU? Yeah, mine is 16.4 with, 
for a bit with the wool. Yeah, and um, with the surfer app, app might 15 meter with the orbit, the highest jump. Yeah, and me it's with the reach, and it's 14 meters with surfer. Both of the apps are trying to do their best, but I think surfer app is the future. I like more Vu because Vu is showing higher jumps, so you can show off better on the social media. Definitely. How it feels for looping to you? Which one feels better? Um, felt more comfortable with the reach. I feel like it's turning a bit faster. So I think that on these conditions here, it's really difficult to compare with it super gusty. So every time you get a different gust, I was expecting more pull from the reach. But yeah, again, depend of the gust. Sometimes it was more, sometimes less. The reach, I feel it more on the bar. Please let people know what they should do. If you want to jump high and uh, stay in the air, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to Kitesurf Experience. Yeah, what else they can do? They can like, uh, they can comment and uh, tell us what you think. Cheers! <laughs>